Hi everyone, here's Anne and we are continuing to play Timbleweed Park. Of course, I forgot about one most important thing because where the Uncle Chuck would hide his passwords. We know that there is uh, something to hide. Dig in! I'm really looking forward to see what the hell he is doing. The digging, 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 digging. So where he would do that? Give his passwords. Here, and we forgot about it, and we are stupid because. What? We don't have the tape, so do it here, here. And agent, where are you? Yeah, here. Good. Call it twelve more packs. Steal the secret to the pillow factory I I. Okay. Use this on Dolores. No use. Give. It doesn't work. There's this. definitely a clear fingerprint here. Give this to Dolores. Thank you. And collect the spec. How many specs? Eleven. So, Dolores, the win. One again. Dig in, dig in, dig in. He's not here. He most likely knows we are. Something inside. Finally. It's a small black book. And this is the painting, which is supposed to let us know, freaking hell, there is a painting under the is a safe. So pick it up and look at the book. Chuck's password top secret. CompuServe. Prodigy, the source of his computer. Ooh, that's a common genie, quantum link, habitat, PBS games, PBS news. Think of better passwords, okay. So, that's what we have now, so we go here. This one. Last login, eight days ago from Terminal 1. Mm, Tic-tac-toe, adventure to mode. Look out. Let's see directory. Oh, I cannot. I start to type 1. <laughs> root, root, chuck, chuck, root, root. Win games. Mm -hmm. Factory status. Operational, main door open, guards, maintenance mode, operational, unlocked, deadly, deadly, cool, cool, like cool or cool, like frozen, tic tac toe, your move, top row, left, Top row. 
Right. Uh, bottom row. Center of column. Middle row. Uh, center. Middle row. Ah. Right one. Okay. Bottom left. Tie game. Once more. Middle row. Center. Uh, top row. Right. Middle. Left. Damn computers, they are too clever. So, top. Center. But, um. Okay. Oops, made a mistake. No. Ah. Okay. Always die game. So, adventure. Welcome to Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Written and programmed by Ron Gilbert. Copyright 1981. Mods by Chuck Edmund. You wake up in the dark. Dump and deck. The floor is hard stone. A dim light is your west. Go east. And you walk into the dark chamber to see a glint of light just as the spikes reflect of your lantern. But it's too late. You are impaled. Before you have time to react, you lie in the dark chamber for several hours, the blood slowly draining from your veins. As your consciousness slowly slips away, you wonder the reasons you being here. What was it that drove you to this dark chamber of death? Did you really have a choice? Or had the choice been made by others? Just as everything becomes clear, that takes over. There is nothing. Nothing. I think it's a stupid ending. I will adventure. And I know that I need to go to west. You are in a long stone corridor with an exit to the east and west. It smells of death. Okay, I think again you need to go to the west. You are in a large room with a beam of light coming in from an opening above. A river can be heard to the north. Go to light. The opening is too high to reach. But it was supposed to go to light. I think. I have somewhere. Yeah. West, look around, west. Look around. You are in a large room with a beam of light coming in from the bed above, and you can hear to the north. And go to light. Are you sure? North. The dead end. There is no way. Out except the way you came in from the south. There are strange cave paintings on the walls. I think it was examine paintings. They are old paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling the robots with joystick and laughing. Hmm. Fiska. Yeah, in uh, the tube connection, lower system, memory gas, uh, was the protocol. Ah, rebooting in. Uh, yeah, yeah, go. You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. Hey! Wait for me! Uh, 
I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, Aye. Aye. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say aye. 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 Abstain. So be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. TSK Party. So, is it the end? So, what shall we do? Uh, okay, everyone is here. And we are a pirate. So, let's go to the door. Go stairs down. Okay. Clever. You crashed my computer. Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. Help me! Please! Help me! It's a big button. Use! There is no way to get... Are you sure? <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway. You are doomed! You will never get past my searing lasers of death, TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillotron 3000, TM. Really? Help me! Please, help me! I uh, will save. You know, you never know. There is no way to get- Ooh! Ow! I'm not staying any longer. My the hat helped, but not enough. Oh, really? Okay, who has the foil? Yeah. Use aluminium foil. No, I'm not going to know. It's a big button. Here. Here. Carry this for me. And this. Use foil on that. Ooh. You Let's are go. all doomed against the AI power of Pillotron 3000. TM and patent pending. TA! You're cheating! Didn't feel a thing! Take that! Counts right off! You're cheating! Didn't feel a thing! Didn't feel a thing! Counts right off! No fair! Take that! Didn't feel a thing! TA! Didn't feel a thing! I filed this as a bug report! Spank! Specs. Ten. Two five nine six. Okay. Two five nine six. Pretty fast. No way past it. It's spinning pretty fast. No. Uh, okay. Escape to the afterlife. Okay. Can't. Right. Go there. Go there. And lobby, please. 
It's so good to have a ga ghostly friend. It's a phone. Yeah. Please zap it. Two five. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, two one. 1. Current state of the fan is off. Good. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. How the hell? Overheating have... won't hurt me. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Okay, you cannot be touched. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. I am That's one big computer. Uncle Chuck continues to amaze me. Yep. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Not a problem. It's a phone. Sub it, please. Two, five, nine, six. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in three, two, one. Current state of the fan is on. So it doesn't have even a water cooling. Overheating won't hurt me. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. You are not overheating. Dolores, it's not too late to join me and merge with the mind of Pillotron 3000, TM. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Uh, Star Wars reference, isn't it? Pillotron 3000. That's one big computer. Uncle Chuck continues to amaze me. Slot. Look at if you. It's closed, and there's no obvious handle. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Hmm. What about you? You will. Okay, I'm pushing it. No. That was a stupid of me. So loud. Uh, yep. Out the save. Overheating yeah. won't hurt me. So zap it again. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is on. Bring it on. I can take the heat. Can you? Overheating won't hurt me. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. I'm... I share the intelligence of Billotron 3000 TM, and it shares mine! I am one! That's one big computer. Uncle Chuck continues to amaze me. Damn. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you... I think I would need this stretch. I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. You didn't, because you weren't in the Chuck office. I filed this as a bug report! Can I go there? You're cheating! No! There is... 
You are old. I'm not staying any longer. My hair is getting singed. Ouch, damn it, ouch. So I do think. I if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Freeze up it. Two, five, five, six. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. It's a phone. Wow. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Now I hope that we are not stuck. You will never defeat me! I share the intelligence of Billotron 3000 TM, and it shares mine! Use slot. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine! What? This is your last warning to turn. That won't fit in the slot. If you oh, strike me down, man. I shall become more powerful. That won't fit in the slot. You will never defeat me. That won't fit in the slot. Pillotron 3000 TM and I are one. Powerful beyond your comprehension. It won't fit there. Dolores, it's not too late to join me and merge with the mind of Pillotron 3000, TM. I don't want to use it with that. Pillotron 3000, TM, and I That's are one strange. powerful beyond... It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Okay. I didn't see this. I am one... Wow! Damn. And I just got... <laughs> give strange tool to the lost. I can't give this tool to anyone. It's too important. Really? If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine! If you ah. strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. But the story is that how they knew about this. This is your last warning to turn back. Pillotron 3000. Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillotron 3000. TM. Together we are now invincible. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> You will never defeat- These extra-large PT-109 tubes are what makes Pillotron 3000 function. You can't defeat me, Dolores! You will never defeat me! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! Death is all that awaits you now! Help me, Dolores! You should have listened to me! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. I am one with the Pillotron computer! Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. Save me, Dolores. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. 
Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. Help me, Dolores! It's good to see you, Uncle Chuck. It's good to see you too, Dolores. I knew you'd come for me. I need to tell you about something. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Acne intervention. Edward examination. Acne intervention? No! Artificial intelligence. I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. <laughs> downloaded? You mean it was pirated? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not having a demo. <laughs> it matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? Yeah. The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. Wow! That's nuts! Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like pixelization. Like there being 3,000 people in the pawn book. There being no school in terms of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There is only one house in the whole town. Like the highway ends up by the bridge. Yeah, that's true. Like everyone at fourth walls about adventure games. Like we go around collecting specks of dust. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. <laughs> yes, I'm still missing nine. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes. There are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. 
Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people! Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. I don't want it. I install it on my computer. You cannot deinstall. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. <laughs> nice cash cow. But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. They're back thinking you're crazy. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. <laughs> your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck and hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Fred. Deleting. Oh. I didn't see the Kickstarter video. How can I? Okay, I will need to check it. With this balloon animal adventure to into the Firefly world to shut down the original Pilotron. Escaping from the endless cycle of pretend choice depends on me. But most important of all, I need to say goodbye to that. Say goodbye to that. Figure out what to use this balloon animal with to shut down Firefly Pilotron in the original world. And I think everyone has a different. I can't believe this world is going to get down shut down with me in it. The secret my employers are looking for and get into them before the game is deleted. It's worth millions to be implied. My employers are looking for escape this world before it's shut down. It's a game of the uh, year uh, award. Best game of 1988. <laughs> I need to clear my dad's name before the game is deleted. 
I know it wouldn't matter, but it's important to me the more knows, if only for a few seconds. Find someone to give the evidence that they will get the story out. Clear that name. Fantastico. And... Uh, not some... I'm tired of being a beeping failure and to bottle everyone's jokes. Maybe there is a lesson somewhere in all this. If I would, could just do one more show and see if I can read some people without being cruel. Find someone to give them, I'm sorry for being a dick card. Do? Go back into my flashback and do one last show. Don't blow it. Ah, look, I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Give it to someone to say I'm sorry. Okay, uh, what do you have? It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. And do you have a... It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. Okay. So, this is a good place to add this one, and most likely the la last let's play of the Tim uh, Timbleboot Park will be the next one. So, see you later. See you later. If you like it, subscribe. Subscribe.